Version Dog Library Management allows a user to track which block version was used and in which projects it was used. Imagine, for example, that a library program block gets changed. With Library Management, you can find out whether this block was used and the projects it was used in. Knowing the reason why changes have been made to the block and which projects use it will make it easy to decide which projects to update and to keep track of those updates. Let's show you this in action. In this demonstration, we have an RSLogix 5000 library, and it's called Library. We also have two projects that share some code with this library, one called Project 1 and one called Project 2. Now realize we could have this library being a part of dozens or even hundreds of different projects, but in this example, we'll work with just these two. Now the first thing we'll have to do is add this library and these two projects into VersionDog and then link them together. So now we have our library added and our two projects. Let's now go to the library management application to see what you can see. Minimize this window, log into library management. We've got our technologies folder. Here's our project, uh, our library management demo folder. And then here's our library and our two projects. If you look at library, you'll see the projects that are attached to that library. We have four objects in project one and four objects in project two. And you'll see some details about which versions are in the library, which versions are in the, the component of the project. You can also see which components are being shared. You can also click on one of these items and see some histories down at the bottom, like such as the date of when those two were linked. Now you'll see that this library shows the relationship between two projects. If we click on the project, you'll see that this shows a relationship with the library and just these four items and that everything's current. So everything that you see between the library and the projects are accurate and updated. Now let's say that you make a change to the library, but for some reason, one or more of the projects doesn't get that fix. Library management will help you catch those. Now you'll notice that under library, we've got a couple of outdated items. Now this is telling us that some changes were made to the library that did not make it over to the specific project. You'll see here that project one has an outdated item. Project 1 also has another outdated item, and here's some details about those components that are outdated. Now you'll see that in Project 2, because we made those updates, that everything's current. Some other items you can see by clicking on one of the line items, you can see some history down at the bottom that gives you some details about timestamps and what version details, ones where it's linked and deprecated and so on. If you take a look at the Project 1 component itself, you'll see that it also gives you that information about what's outdated and some of the history logs based on which line item you select. In Project 2, because we made those updates, you'll see that everything's current, everything's good, um, and, and then history's related to that as well. Let's go ahead and show you, if you ever have a question about which components or objects are outdated, then it does provide that information to you as well here. You can see that one of the items that's outdated is our VDOG routine. The other one that's outdated is our VDOG add-on instructions. So you can use this information almost like a checklist to go through and fix those changes if maybe you weren't the one that made those original changes in the first place. So we can select one of the light items here. We can open our component in the user client and it will already have that component selected for us. And then we can open that one in the editor and start working on those changes to make sure that they get updated properly. And now we've made those updates. If we go back to our library management and we refresh from the server, you'll see that now everything's current. If we click on project one, it's also current. Project two, current here as well. So again, you can see how the library management tool can help you make sure that any changes that get done to your libraries are also reflected in all the appropriate projects that they're tied to.
So, what if someone makes a change to a library object that's sitting inside of one of the projects? How can library management help you catch those items as well? Let's take a look at that. You'll see that if we look in the library section, we see a couple items that are invalid. Now, when we see invalid, this is telling us that changes that we've made in the uh, library objects that are sitting inside that project are not valid according to the library. Thus, they're showing up as invalid. Now, in cases like this, we need to investigate these changes and, of course, fix them. You'll see that you can get some details about which ones are invalid also within, this, uh, within these columns here as well. The VDOG routine is invalid. And then in this line item here, we've got the VDOG add-on instructions are invalid. Now, again, you still have your notes here at the bottom. So as you're logging all this information, you've got histories about what's going on. Now, if you want to select the actual project, you can see that information here as well. In summary, you can see how the library management tool can help you keep track of changes that are being made to your libraries that might not be reflected in all your projects within your organization. You can also keep track of any projects that have shared libraries where changes might have been made to that project that conflict with what was approved or being used within those libraries, and then you can take appropriate action.